Hello Leo. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoincha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So firstly, I would like to thank all of you for your well wishes, as well as your prayers. Um, I am feeling much better. I would say 90% better, and there's just a little more to go. So hopefully the dizziness and the vertigo will go away quite soon. It's just about done. Um, just a little bit of imbalance. But the actual spinning around, goodness me, that is gone, thank God. <laughs> All right, this is a general love reading. For those of you connecting with someone on a romantic level um, or wanting to connect with someone romantically, I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're thinking of. So the first person that comes to mind. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marshinsky. And keep in mind that this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone out there. If some parts do resonate, then that's fine. And if some of them don't, then that simply means that at this time, that message is meant for someone else as well. Okay, so the first card you have here is Pleasure, followed by Compassion, Wild Woman, Oh boy, then you have crisis. So some of you may notice that I have a stick now. So this is to help me align the cards so that not too much time is wasted. Okay, you have crisis, then you have hearth and home. Followed by nourishment. Then we have Surrender. And Creativity. Okay. A lot of thought is being put into um, what this person did to you. So they, this person's really thinking about it. Okay. So you have nourishment, surrender, creativity, and then you have beliefs under the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to express to you, Leo, what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Leo, the connection that I have with you gives me so much pleasure in my heart with you, I have experienced so much pleasure, physical and spiritual. And you are someone unique, someone different. Over time, I have learned what it is that you have been through. And I have compassion for where you come from. I have empathy. And I understand there are certain things that have happened in your life. And I feel for you. And even though I may have acted like this, I know it's hard to believe that I could have been someone so deceitful. I have deceived you. I have behaved in a way that was unlike something you would have thought I would do. There are certain truths that I have spoken and there's many things that I never said that I should have. And some things that I have said have been misleading and outright lies. And I know that was wrong. Knowing how you feel about me and how we were and we are together, this connection that we have I still feel that I really did 
do you wrong by not speaking up and speaking the truth? I have said paragraphs in which a few sentences may have been omitted, taken out. What you don't know won't hurt you. But by not giving you information, this also means that I was not 100% truthful. Right now, because of this, because of the lies, I do feel very overwhelmed. I feel as though there's a part of me that is so confused. There is anguish, there's mental anguish, impatience, frustration. I'm so overwhelmed by what I've done, I can't think straight. And because there are so many feelings that are coming through me, I feel the need to sort these feelings out, but I am unable to. I can't sort these feelings out, and because I cannot do that, I don't make a choice or a decision. I don't make a move. I'm frozen because I am so confused as what I'm to do. What am I to do? Right now, I feel that you are someone that is very close to me. I have realized this, that you are someone like family. Wherever you are, that is where home is. You are my hearth and home. When there's darkness, you are that person that can guide me home. And when I am cold emotionally, I now realize that you were that one that could make me feel warm. I also understand now that being with you is just very nour nourishing. You provide me with this nourishment emotionally, spiritually, and physically. You are this one person that has it all the complete package. And yes, I have surrendered myself to you. You may not know this, but there's a part of me where I have given myself to you. I feel like I belong to you. And I also feel like there's a part of you that belongs to me. And even though I want to create something with you, something long-lasting for the world to see. I do realize that it may not be such a strong connection. This web of love that I would like to create, yes, it could be very strong, but the one thing that I think about is spiritually this web of love is strong. Emotionally, it is strong. But practically, in the real world, if there's a storm, will, the, will this web of love survive or will it break in an argument, in a storm? Yes, it will. Because we are that fragile in this connection at this moment. So even if I want to create something with you, I'm fearful that anything can happen and we may part our ways. One of the things that really has kept me away is how my belief system has come into play in this connection. My thoughts, my ideas, my opinions have often been a problem. The way I do things, the way I believe in certain things, they just seem to always cause an issue. You and I are not on the same page. We do not think alike. We were born and brought up in very different ways. I am who I am. 
And right now, I understand that it's important for me to see your perspective. But it's these beliefs also that I hold very dear to my heart, my character, my personality. I cannot change. This is who I am. All right, Leo. It's not, a, it's not a matter of this person having... For some of you, yes, this person has ego and pride. But for some people, the individual that you're connecting with simply has been born and brought up in a very different kind of environment, atmosphere. They're not like you. They don't think like you. And this is where the both of you are butting heads like... You just, you're just not on the same page. This person has a very different idea about relationships and love. And it appears that it doesn't go very well with you. Okay, I have here the Lover's Path Tarot. I'm going to have a look at what is it that this individual is... Aha! Uh -huh. The obstacle. Something that is causing an issue in this connection. Now, these are em emotions and feelings that happened a while ago, why the situation was caused. So this may provide some clarity to some of you. Here we have the Six of Coins and the Nine of Cups. All right. So with the Six of Coins, oh boy, the individual that you're dealing with, they used either emotional manipulation, they could have used wealth to manipulate you, psychological manipulation, this could have been sexual manipulation. The key word here is manipulation. They manipulated you and they gave to you only with the intention of receiving and expecting certain things in return from you. So they were not selfless. At some point, they became selfish. And this person was not very giving. They were not very open with their heart. They were very closed. And this is a problem because this was a part of their nature. You see, the beliefs card was here. This is a part of their character, a part of who they were back then. Right now, they're starting to change slowly. However, that is going to be a long process because this person is still trying to understand a few more things. They're very closed off. You know, and... There's a lot of um, people out there that there's this misconception, okay? A lot of us think that, oh, this person doesn't have love, so I'm supposed to give them love. We feel sorry for an individual. If somebody is closed off, we think, no, I'm going to stick around and I'm going to be there for them. And that's fine, Leo. But sometimes what happens, it, it really is a dead end. It really is a brick wall. Don't give your love to someone who does not reciprocate. It is literally going down a black hole. Yes, you can love them at a distance, be there for them when you need to, but don't dedicate yourself to them 24-7 because there are people out there like this who are emotionally very closed off. And the reason is they have some type of trauma or psychological issue, another issue that they have to go through and heal. And then when they're healed, then they will be open to love, the type of love that you want to give them. You can't be the answer to everything. That is a problem. You may think that your love is enough to help this person heal from childhood abuse, from parental neglect. You might think that it's enough. It's not enough. 
You can never, unfortunately, be that person that can take that place, ever. Some people, I'm just saying this, are like this. We become too giving, too caring, too loving. Just keep in mind that your place is love and romance. You can't have that particular remedy. You can't make this remedy, you know, to fix this person. And it's not a matter of a person being fixed. The person has to heal. Every human being is capable of love. They are, unless you're, you have demons inside you, which increase the opposite. Um, but by nature, what God has created, even animals, right? Plants, nature itself, love. That's what love is. But the thing is that you can only give so much. And when you know you've given so much and this person, it's like a dead end. Don't keep investing because clearly you are doing something incorrect because it's not working. So learn and think about certain things that you do and learn from those mistakes. You might not think it's a mistake, but just learn from that pattern of behavior. What is your pattern of behavior? What is their pattern of behavior? Is it working or is it not working? I just wanted to mention that because I see that this individual is very closed off and some people are very emotionally distant and we think, oh my goodness, they need me. That's great. However, they take advantage because they do not value you because you are not on their mind in the way that you feel about them. So they don't value you the way that you value them because their mindset is completely different. Like the card said, beliefs, their belief, their mindset, their character is completely different. All right, I will stop there and let's continue. Again, with the Nine of Cups, very similar situation. Here, back in the day, there used to be a lot of ecstasy. There used to be a lot of sensuality. Wishes that you had were being granted a long time ago. However, that all changed. Here, there is now complacency. This individual started taking this relationship for granted. Why did they take it for granted? Because they never really valued you. The key word here in this text is overindulgence. So they did overindulge and take whatever it is that they wanted. There is an inability to receive pleasure. This person feels this. With you, there is an inability to receive pleasure and there is also dissatisfaction. Why is it that when you're giving love, they can't receive the pleasure of love? Why is it that they are dissatisfied? It's because as a human being, they are somewhere deep down hurt. Hurt. This is a person that has a brain, has a heart. They have trauma. Everybody goes through weird stuff in our lives, right? All of us have been through weird shit, okay? And some of us just can't be in a connection because of issues. We got issues. So I can definitely feel this power coming from this person. It's not you. This is when in a connection somebody says, you know, it's not you, it's me. This is exactly it. It's not you, it's them. All you can do is yes, offer to be there, but don't go above and beyond unless this person's giving you their all. Don't do that. That's just a waste of your love. And love is energy. What you need to do, if this resonates for some of you, not all of you, it's always best to try to try to provide as much support as you can, right? Like um, services, like a therapist, like um, any type of training. Honestly, there's many things that you can do that can slowly, slowly, slowly help an individual get their life back on track. And at the end, what happens? They totally fall in love with you because through thick and thin, you have always been there in the most logical kind of way, in the most practical kind of way. Wow, you guys have a really nice set of cards here. Um, here I have, let's, we're looking at the intentions 
um, and the plans or any of the actions that this individual is going to take towards you. Leo, definitely. They are changing over time. They're changing. Oh my goodness. Wow, you have three major arcanas. Big, big changes are coming. Oh my God. Wow. People, 10 out of 10 reading. Holy Hannah. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Wow. You all are teaching this person about love and about life. You are teaching them. You have here the King of Pentacles, the Magician, Temperance, Lovers. Then you have Ten of Cups. Amazing. Ten of Cups is gorgeous, as many of you may know. One second. Okay, I have enough time. Yes, King of Pentacles, this person wants to give you a permanent, solid, lovey-dovey connection. Yes, they do want this. The Magician. They're trying to be the best version of themselves for you. So you see, you have proved yourself over time. You're going to be there for this person. And what happens is they're going to try to be the best version of themselves to be with you. Here, with a temperance card, they do feel that there has been an imbalance in this connection. They were only taking for granted and they were taking the entire time. Now they are going to try to start balancing the connection Let's have an equal give and take in this connection. That's what this person is going to finally learn from their own mistakes. And essentially, they are going to feel guilty, you know, as to how they have treated you over time. And it is guilt in a human being that can make one change. Here we have, they are making a choice. This could be between two people. This can also be between a lifestyle something that they really love. They need to change something and they're going to make a choice. What is that choice going to be? Guys, it's you. They're coming either back into your life or they just simply want to be with you. They. This is the entire package, right? Like a husband-wife relationship, kids, beautiful home, backyard, sunny day, happiness all around. It doesn't matter. Some of you may not want kids. Don't worry about it. This is simply a connection that's getting to a much higher level of commitment, long-term, solid commitment. True love. Holy smokes, this was a damn beautiful reading. Yes, so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> this is revolutionary. You guys have actually changed this person, eh? Completely changed this person around. Wow. Yep. If this person was a player, you are that one that has changed their perspective on love and life. I'm just going to do a quick prayer. Okay, let's have a look at what Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel have to say about this connection. The first word is no. Okay, so Leo, don't do anything drastic right now. They're telling you, no, don't do anything drastic. Look for a sign, okay? If there's any actions or any words that you're going to say, the sign could be knowing that this individual has to change. And you can either see signs and synchronicities. This could literally be this person reaching out to you. Take action. So this is going to be you in the future taking action towards this individual. This is you taking action. Be assertive. So let this person know what you're comfortable with and what you are not comfortable with. Okay, guys. For some of you, you may not like this, but a year from now is when this individual is going to completely change. Like a, a, the type of person that you want that is when this is going to happen. And you see, it's like that, that analogy that I had a long while ago. A cake. When you bake a cake, if you take it out too soon, the center of it will deflate and it'll become, it's like raw. You can't eat it. In a cake, there's ingredients. There's time. Even after it comes out, you have to let it cool. And only then can you try it, because that's when the timing is perfect. If you take it out too soon, 
it's not going to taste the same it won't be the same this person right now is in this phase they are changing but it takes time a lot of time and in all honesty time goes by just like that guys um, don't worry about it in the meantime the angels here are telling you to choose a new direction. Just focus on yourself for now. You are going to be the one taking action and being assertive many months from now. So it doesn't have to be exactly 12 months, but it could be from now until maybe the next seven or eight, um, a few months after that. Choose a new direction. They are telling you to trust in the Christ consciousness. This is yourself sitting. That is Christ and that is Jehovah God, or he has many other names in the Abrahamic religion. This is the... Um, Christ consciousness and bet um, behind that's the creator. So trust in the divine. Trust in divine timing. Trust in the divine. And they want you to listen to your own intuition. So listen to yourself. Listen to your feelings because that is your higher self speaking to you. That is in fact your soul which is much more older and wiser. And it's giving you advice. And when you trust in god you do receive messages and it all happens in the spiritual realm and when you get these messages do not doubt yourself you may hear a voice it could be from an angel and it could also be simply your higher self speaking to you you are two separate beings your soul and your body two separate beings your soul exists on a different dimension and you exist here in 3d all right, Leo, absolutely beautiful reading. I love this reading. It's really good. It is a matter of time, but once this thing happens, it's going to be solid. Really nice. God bless you guys. I hope many of you resonated with this reading. Um, it's beautiful. Okay, Leo, thank you so much for viewing the video and for um, all of your support and love and your well wishes once again. I'll see you guys again. You take care and stay safe. Bye now.